you guys today we're taking a look at taking back full control of your windows 10 and windows 11 home editions now we all know that windows 10 home and windows 11 home doesn't come with group policy editor if you check your system information it will tell you what version of windows you are running you can see we're running microsoft windows 11 home edition here and that means we have quite a few restrictions and we can't use the group policy editor if you try to open up group policy editor you will get a error code just like this one here. I'm going to show you a free piece of software you can use, which acts just like Group Policy Editor, and it's free to use, and it will give you full control of your system. But before I show you how to do that, let me just quickly have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, if you're looking to uh, get Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro, then check out CD Key Sales. I'll leave the links in the video description. We can click on uh, uh, one of these links here uh, or in the video description, and it will take you uh, to this page. Create an account, and you can see here we can now purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key. It's a global key, lifetime activation, and it's uh, available uh, globally. Once you uh, click on this here, saying buy now, use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order, and you'll get a massive discount on the price there. So let me just quickly show you this. Now, once you've applied this to your order, you can then purchase it via, via PayPal, and then they will send you the link in your account. You can then use that account uh, to activate uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So let's first get onto uh, Policy Plus. Now, Policy Plus acts just like Group Policy Editor, but this is free and you can install it on your system. And again, you're not uh, gonna have any issues uh, running any sort of policies on here. It saves you having to go into the registry and do registry tweaks. You can do them straight into this policy plus and it works really great. You are going to need the .NET Framework 4.5 or newer installed on your system. There is a link to it right there. Again, you will need to install that on your system. It should be on there already. And you can take, see here down the bottom here, it gives you some information about this actual program itself. So we're going to download the very latest build here. And uh, once we get this build downloaded, we can get it installed. It's going to need some files uh, to run correctly. But once you get it on here, I will show you basically how it works. So I'm going to click on this here to get the very latest version downloaded from uh, this website. Once it's downloaded, I can click on it and it will open up the program. It is safe to use. And again, you can see here Policy Plus. Welcome to Policy Plus here. It's going to give you some information about it needs some files to run properly. So I'm going to say yes here, and it will start to get these files for us and get it installed on the system. So here we are. It's going to say download uh, the full specified path. So I'm just going to say run or begin, and then this will start to run and download these files into that location. Once this is done, uh, we'll then be able to open up the Policy Plus program and start to have a look at some of the policies that we can make changes to. Now, again, this can be policies for updates uh, or your Edge browser, or whether it will be to do with uh, the OneDrive or anything like that. You can disable stuff, you can enable stuff, you can tweak it a lot more using the Policy Plus program. So let me quickly open this up so you can see what it looks like. Here we have, we have the little folder uh, tree here. We can open these up and it will take us to places on the right-hand side which allows us to configure policies for that location. So Windows components or any other place we want to go to. Let's just try and have a look at Windows updates in Windows components here. It's all nicely laid out here. It's very easy to navigate. And all you need to do is find a location that you want to go to, click on it, and it will give you the policies for that particular location. So I'm in Windows updates here, and you can see there's quite a few that you can configure. So let's go ahead and uh, configure one of these and show you basically how it works. So this is for the allow automatic uh, updates, immediate installation. So this is gonna install them straight away on the PC. And if you wanted to configure this how you want to, you can go in here and enable this feature or disable it or whatever it is that it tells you on here. There's a little piece of uh, information uh, description about what it actually does and how to set it up. So have a good read of that and then put the policy into position and then push apply and okay and that policy is now set you once you restart the pc it will take uh, action on that policy that you've set so you can see it has been configured if you want to remove it you just go not configured apply and okay 
and it will remove that policy from here. Now, be careful what you are configuring inside here because it can uh, cause problems when you're trying to do stuff. If you don't know what you're disabling, you just go and start disabling loads of stuff uh, and you want to use it later on. It will say this is owned or uh, been changed by the administrator and you will have trouble uh, getting it running. So be careful, especially when it comes to things like Windows updates and things like that. You can stop Windows updates inside here. So let's have a look at the other policy here. This one is to specify active hours range from auto restarts. This means that it's going to auto restart on the maximum range you set it here. So rather than uh, Windows just restarting and you've got work open and uh, programs open like Word and things like that with uh, information in it, it won't restart because you can set the policy up here. We've also got virus and threat protection here. You've got a bunch of policies in here you can mess around with telemetry. You've also got a bunch of other stuff you can do on this particular program. It's a powerful little tool. And uh, if you've never used a uh, group policy editor before, then it's very similar uh, to group policy editor. I find it a little bit more easier to navigate uh, this uh, policy plus than a uh, group policy editor. So open up one of these policies, allow telemetry. And then you can see it's not configured. You can read the information here to what you want to set it to. And again, you can go into enable here and then change it for user or computer. And then you can see here, we got it for advanced, enhanced, sorry, uh, required, and also security enterprise only. And you can set it to this one here. And that's that done. So that's another policy set. And there's a bunch of them in here you can mess around with. You can configure OneDrive here, as you can see, and uh, you can get the diagnostic data and set that up as well. And there's loads of other things on here, um, which you can set up as well uh, for other things uh, that might be a concern for you, i.e. Uh, you've got data collecting and preview builds and uh, delivery optimization, desktop gadgets, and a bunch of other stuff inside here. There's tons and tons of uh, policies you can uh, mess around with and configure. Anyway, I'll leave all the links and information in the video description uh, for the sponsor video and also for this program as well. If you're interested in any of that stuff, the links will be down below in the video description. Anyway, that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section what you think of this program, if you've used it. It's a pretty awesome bit of kit, especially if you're a Windows uh, home user. And uh, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support. Sorry for the lack of names at the end credits for those who have joined my YouTube members. Uh, I'm going through a bit of a phase of decorating at the moment. Hopefully I'll be back up and running properly in a couple of weeks time. And uh, everything should be back to normal with my proper microphone and stuff like that. Anyway, I shall catch you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.